So we're uh, oh we got a police escort today. Isn't that kind of cool? You're mad over her? For what? I'm talking shit to her. For what? I'm talking shit to nobody but her. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because you wasn't. You're talking shit to you me? Really? I know. I know. You hear? You hear? You hear your girlfriend? Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah, they show me. So what? So what? Cause look how she treat her kids. Look how she treat her kids. Look how she treat her kids. Call Tavy, I Tavy. Yes, I'm playing. Like stop playing, girl. This is all going to LBMPD right now. In public, you're allowed to be filmed. In we're we're verified photojournalists. So that's why there's that's why security the Associated Press. You don't need your consent for a security camera. Can in public, you're allowed to be filmed. Can, Can you, you ask him to leave? Leave us alone. Leave our home alone. Please leave away. Get out of Go away. Sister. Just get away from here. Call the cops if you got an issue. I will call them too. Call them right now. Get out of our place. I'm telling you why you recorded my little sister. I'm because you guys are yelling out here. Get out of our place. Get out of the fuck out of our place. Stop screaming in public! Well, get out of here! Excuse me, you need to calm down! Call the police! Oh, my God! You're going to jail! You're going to jail! I didn't do nothing! Who was it? I didn't punch you! Bro, bro, bro! Watch out, watch out! Watch out, watch out! Is there glass? Is there glass in that? No? Hey, buddy, you might need stitches on that right there, dude. Is that right there? Oh, I, I can wrap. Does this guy live here? I'm sorry. Do I live here? No, it's him. We're just here for a couple days. I think they said he lived here. I got some video of the whole so there's like four of them out here having an argument. They come out and say, hey, can you guys keep it down? So he's filming. They didn't like the fact that they were being filmed. He gets, uh, he got pushed, right? Pushed into the window. They first broke first the they window. First they broke it, actually. We closed the door. Because we closed the door. Okay. And happening. then they we broke the, the window because they're trying to, they're yeah. all mad at us now. Oh, man. And so they're all, we literally had to slam the door shut to keep them out. And then they just broke the window, and I came out to see what happened, and then, and then that and then threw he me in the window. Yeah. Did, uh, did you, you, you stay here, or did you walk anywhere? I'm sorry? Did you, you see it here, did you walk I was inside my class. No, I mean, after you got cut. No, he's been here the whole time. Here, or did oh, I didn't move. Do you know how he broke the window? Did they punch it or something? Yeah, I think he punched it. I'm guessing with the fist. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't actually see it because we were inside when it happened, and that's when we came out. Because you didn't walk down that way, right? I didn't know who had to go in my computer. So, uh, most of the, the most dangerous damage was when I was getting punched into the glass. In other words, like you see in the movies when someone's getting hit and they're getting pushed back. Do not do you! Who was it? I didn't push you! <laughs> That was what's happening to me, is he's hitting me, he was pushing me in the glass, that's where I got the substantial damage, because the glass was cutting into my skin, and into my head. Yep, yeah, go ahead. He, he records everything. Yeah, I know, yeah. Charles, yeah. Like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> and it's very similar up here, they gave us stuff to dress this more, and I've got another one's in my head. Oh, Back here. oh geez. But then I got some other damages from where he was hitting me in the face with bare fists. And that's on my face. You can see how I'm, uh, he hit me in the neck here. We're a verified photojournalist. I'm completely swollen here. Completely swollen here. I've got a, a laceration here. And as you can see, a disfigurement. It, it, it's swollen up. Okay, so I have received my medical attention and I am good to go. I'm well bandaged up. They've given me some antibiotics, pain pills if I need them, which I don't think I will. And I'm just gonna wait for Jedi Joy to come pick me up here at the hospital. And I got my discharge paperwork, and that's it. Well, as we mentioned before, this was all caused by a set of chain reaction, a chain reaction that was set in place by Airbnb's Trust and Safety's department's negligence. So what's your name? Sir, you're in my place. My name is Tony. Tony has come into our place, it is now. Okay, so these people are stating that uh, they were paid up into what day you say? April 13th. April, April the 13th. And now what's happened is, well, because we got kicked out of the Airbnb and, and it's March Madness and there's no place to stay in town that's a reasonable rate, 
We had to stay at a very inexpensive place. When I was documenting the footage, I got attacked. Which way is the car? Why do you record people? Oh my God! Yup, it sure is. So what? So what? And they broke through the window. And they pushed through the door. Get out of here! Excuse me, you need to calm down. But the end result was this never would have happened if Airbnb's Trust and Safety Department took the time to hear both sides of a story. April the 13th. They said that Airbnb told them they can stay. And we're paid. Okay, so are they out or are they staying? As opposed to just one side of the story from the host. Can you get back, please? Is that what you're saying? You can be in our place. You can be in our place. This is Airbnb security. It is currently 1130 at night. They have woken us up in the middle of the night. Yeah, he, the he house is, is intact. He's in our place right now. He's doing what Airbnb security has asked him to do. This is further to convenience us, us beyond what we can possibly imagine. Awesome. We're not leaving. I'd like you to leave, please. I'd like you to step out of my place. I've been here for 60 days. I'm a, I'm a legal tenant. And we paid. That's fine. Okay. So We're not leaving tonight. We are not leaving tonight. Remove us. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. We've been here for 60 days. We've, okay. we've told them. They told us that we could. You're in our place. We. Oh, um, they kicked us out of our Airbnb. We never were given a reason of why we had to leave abruptly. And when you live somewhere for over 30 days, there's some laws about you can't just abruptly kick people out. I mean, look, we have all this stuff, and uh, they're kicking us out at 11.30 at night. Middle of the night, I have to move all of our stuff. This would have been avoided. Because if you would have talked to us about the complaints that the host had, you would have realized that the, that the host was lying. And the host just wanted us out. Because for whatever reason, maybe get more rent, maybe they wanted it, I don't know. Who knows? The point is, is that they don't have to go through eviction process. All they have to do is call you and then you boot us off the system. I'm gonna call have, the police here if you don't step out. Go ahead, go ahead and call them, that's fine. Uh -huh. Hey, we have the laws once you've been somewhere Yeah, go ahead and call them. What's to talk about? That's hey, hey, hey. Okay, it's fine. What, what I, we have never done anything wrong. It's just your trust and safety is just on this mission to make sure that we are not on your system. And every time they kick us off, we get injured. Put stitches on that right there, dude. Is that right there? Is that right there? Is that right there? Oh, I, I can wrap it up real good, okay? Yeah. I can wrap it up real good. That probably needs two or three stitches, right, man? So I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, so basically, these, does this guy live here? I'm sorry. Do I live here? No, it's him. We're just here for a couple days. I think they before? said he said he lived here. I got so a video of the whole thing. So there's like four. So that one must have been. Because you didn't walk down that way, right? Well, I, I didn't know. Right. I, uh, so, yeah. Did anybody else? So, it's insane. This is insane. So again, this is all a chain reaction caused by Airbnb's trust and safety. If they hadn't have acted so rash, none of this would be occurring right now. <sighs> oh jeez. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. So. And then, and then. Uh, I don't have the footage of anybody filming me because I can't film myself and be well, the victim at the same and time. And I was freaking out. So. Guys, we're gonna check into the hotel lobby here at the Hotel Shalimar, and, or Shalimar Hotel, and it's Howard Johnson, and we're really looking forward to it. It seems really nice, and we're gonna spend a couple days here. That's serious, poor baby. Oh, that kid's a poor baby.